Good morning, YouTube. Thanks for stopping by the Wolf Den here at Captain Dave's Sport Fishing, Jacksonville, Florida. I promised on the first video, which I'll put a link below, where I was talking about the biggest diving lure I could find. 11 inches. And how I'm going to try to troll these just to see this summer what's going to whack them. It's January now, so I'm already thinking about spring. I'm thinking about summer doldrums. I really don't like summer in Jacksonville, Florida. Because I'm an inshore guy. And I'll burst everybody's bubble. Guess what? Now, when you're in Chicago, you ought to be down here. Because I got a customer that I'm taking out on Monday morning. And he's from Chicago. And they just shut down the airport. Because of the snow and all that. So, you ought to be down here already. Don't wait till the middle of summer when it's 110 degrees to show up in Jacksonville, Florida. I know y'all do. So I did a video about this lure and it came with these hooks. And I hope you can see them. They're just really, really generic trebles. Bronze, of course. Not good for salt water. And I did a video showing this and it had these hooks on it. Well, there's the difference, folks. These, the guy told me that's a 7 odd. That's a 7 odd. I don't know what. That right there was a 5 odd owner. So, look at the size difference and the gap difference in that. But I said I was going to talk topwater. When is your topwater lure? too big. All right, right here is my top water plug box. Now, I didn't come up with this on my own. I'll admit, I watched a lot of John Skinner because I was picking up things from those Northeast, you know, those New York, Long Island sh striped bass guys. I'll kind of show you how it started. So, how big is too big? That right there, that's a six inch hoagie. I got the rubber bands on here, but it's got a big single hook and a big treble. That is a six inch kind of see-through pink belly rattles. Hoagie, uh, top water, walk the dog lure. I don't know why, but around here in Florida, you know, in the south, Miralure is very popular. And you go and you look at the stores now, and they don't, nobody even hardly carries the, the original top dog Miralure, which was a walk the dog thumper. It went like that, right? Well, nobody even hardly carries it anymore. I used to think that was a big plug. This is much bigger, much bigger. The average is three, four inches. Well, when I'm throwing a top water, just like when I'm going to be trolling these big giant plugs, I'm doing it for the fun of it to see if something hits it. I'm not going out thinking, oh, I'm just going to go catch a fish. Oh, I'm just going to catch these. I'm just going to go catch those. I've already thrown these here in the middle of the winter while people were float rig fishing off the back of my boat. I've been buzzing these over by some rocks. Wouldn't I be surprised if a gator trout sucked this up? like yesterday's lunch. So I got these in all different colors. And I've got other, some Chinese knockoffs coming. And I'll, I'll be showing those when I get those. So that's a great, you know, thing to try to catch big trout's attention. So, how big is too big? Well, most people, your redfish pro tour, you know, gurus, I mean, you know, you're, I refer to them as the know-it-alls. They would look at, oh, that's too big. Oh, that's too big. Well, they're doing something I'm, that's different than me. I'm going 
and forcing big upon the fish. You know what I mean? Well, then how about this? And this is the idea that I got from Skinner, John Skinner on YouTube. Just a bone-colored, giant, fat, hot dog, sausage spook. I believe this is made by Drifter Tackle. Got a real low tone, not a beer can full of BBs, which that's what I like. Beer cans full of BBs. That knocks, it's got a knocking ball bearing there, but then up front here, it's got BBs. I'd rather just get rid of those BB things, just low tones transmit underwater. That's what I like. So that's what that has. And that's from Drifter Tackle. Comes with good hooks, big VMCs, I believe, or mustads on here, nice and sharp. And that's seven inches. But this thing walks the dog so easy I can hand it to a kid. But there's more. How about a nine inch? A nine inch from Drifter Tackle. This walks even easier, and I cannot wait. Just like this, just like this, everybody's anxiously waiting to see what is going to whack at that. Well, I'm even a little more excited. So, I have a nine inch, a seven inch, and a I believe in spares, so I got another 7 inch too. I'll be throwing this, and I can't wait to see what hits this too. Of course, I'm going to be throwing these big plugs and trolling this big plug. I'll be trolling them on a uh, medium heavy tiger, ugly stick tiger, with my jigging master wiki reels, which are Level wind, lever drag. Level wind, lever drag. All machined aluminum. Maybe I should show them to you. You, you want to see them? Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll show them to you. Let me go get one. All right. Here is one thick tiger rod. It's your standard tiger rod, just a conventional rod. Okay, just a conventional rod. And uh, it's a new one, so it's got the ugly tough guides. It's not the old ones. This one, only medium heavy. God dang, it's stiff. But that's what I'm going to need for casting something like this. I'm going to need to be able to bomb it out there. Then I stuck it on my jigging master wiki rod reel that is my jigging master and these are some seriously fine reels from Taiwan level wind lever drag all right and the cool thing about it is is they call this the fun, the, the finger fence for deep jigging, you would hold your finger right there and you would jig. But that works also for tucking this up under your armpit, holding your rod down, and doing the walk the dog. Walk the dog. It's like you don't even need a trigger. And most of you probably know nothing about using casting reels. But I'm not throwing spinners. If I can't throw a, cast, a casting reel, I'm not doing any of this. To cast this, the neat thing about it is you can bump up the drag just a hair. And that will be like adjusting mags on the side almost a little bit. Because it puts just a hair tension on the spool so you don't backlash it. And then the more drag you want, the more you pull this lever up, that's how a lever drag works. And look at that, all ball bearing. To buy these reels right now would be about 650. 
This will be what I'm going to be throwing big, big top water. And most likely, this is the same thing I'm going to use for trolling this. The fun, a lot of fun, is always putting together specialty tackle for specialty lures. Right? Specialty lure. That's the theme. Go big or go home. Thanks for watching.